श्री विंसेट एज पाला थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर फॉर अलाउंग मी टू इनिशिएट द बिल डिस्कशन ऑन नेशनल मेडिकल कमीशन बिल 2019। सर आई स्टैंड हियर टू अपोज द बिल आई डू अग्री विद द मिनिस्टर दैट द स्टैंडिंग कमिटी हैज रिकमेंडेड हाउ टू रिस्ट्रक्चर द एम सी आई एंड हाउ टू फ्रेम अ न्यू बिल बट वट एवर द रिकमेंडेशन विच ही एक्सेप्टेड आर नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाइन of the recommendations which the standing committee has proposed are very important for example this bill is nothing but a dilution of power from the doctors fraternity to the to the government for example this bill instead of decentralization it becomes centralization they have diluted the mci they have diluted the rti they have diluted the eci they have diluted the cbi so the same thing in this bill is what has happened so so this bill if you look at it majority of the bill especially in the in terms of license here i request the minister for your in your response in the entrance exam i'll not talk details of the clause by clause in the entrance exam there's a need and a next I understand the NEET has been practiced. Almost 50% of students who participated in the in the NEET exam they pass and qualify. But the next, after the student has enrolled and studied for six years for MBBS, as per the UNIS, uh, University Act, the university is supposed to give a certificate. For example, whoever pass from AIMS, if he pass, a certificate will be given to him. But now, who will give a certificate? Whether the commission will give a certificate or a university will give a certificate, because after the medical institutions or medical college declared that this has passed the exams and also has done a practice for one year, and they are supposed to give us a provisional or original certificate, and from the from the college as well as from university. But now, until unless he passes the next exam, he'll not be qualified. so i want you to clarify one thing on this issue who will give a certificate that now after practicing in aims one of the best institute in india whether he, if he fail the next he fail to get a license to practice or not that's one thing another i want to seek your clarification in the community health service provider you said that one third as of now there are more than 10 like doctors are there out of one third of the doctors a certificate will be given for the communities uh, for the community health provider there's no clarity there's no transparency how the certificate will be given to this community service provider so i want you to give a clarity advice there's lots of misuse will be when a certificate will be issued to the service provider especially in the rural areas how the certificate we prepare how we the enroll what are the qualification i want a clarity on this another thing which i want a clarity from the minister so far i have seen i do agree with you in the msi lots of corruptions lots of corruptions i used to associate with lot of christians medical institutions normally the msi will come and they'll inspect when there's a good friday and then is holiday so the next day will come on inspection and the new year they'll come inspection next day when they know that less doctors less patients will there they'll come and give a report how will you address this issue also the same thing in the next in the next in in, in this in this field in terms of inspections of the of the medical medical colleges and lots of thing has been pressed about the integrity of the members in the board now sir an mci with 100 members of there in the mci is difficult for them to inspect most of the colleges how will you overcome from 100 you reduce to only a 25 members of course you have a board for the for the undergraduates you have a board for the post graduate you have a board for the medical for the colleges you have a board also for the doctors separate boards are be there of different different categories but how this board will be working how the integration will be done among the boards 
So that there's a proposal I've seen, but there's no clarity on that. So I want you to address one of these issues. So instead of about the, again integrity, now in your own from the PMO, I think it's better you to find out how do you mean by integrity of a doctors when you select it. There'll be a select committee, and the select committee will try to find the best man, the best doctors in this 25. As of now, sir, an IAS officer who has been opposed by the PMO office that he's not fit to be a secretary in the department. Now he's a secretary in, in the board of governors. He's, he's using that one. So how do you, how you define the integrity? I think that there's no clarity on it. So, sir, please answer on these questions also. Another thing, sir, you have said that there will be four boards and the state councils also. The state councils, they have their own rules and regulations how to regulate the fees. So, this is, the bill is heavily, heavily concentrated how to supervise, how to uh, make rules for the private. What about the, what about the government, government institutions? As of now, most of the common institutions, common medical college, I have seen in the areas, example like in my constituency, Negrims is supposed to be one of the best, uh, the best institutions in India. It's not even 40% of the, of the sanction posts. And lots of the posts in the common institutions have been de-sanctioned and moved to other. It's supposed to be for super, super speciality. And they were de-sanctioned because we lack of doctors. So instead of concentrating on the research in the bill and how to produce more doctors, more, more doctorates in doctors, then you concentrate only in a small, small, small thing. I want you to answer on this. In case we have now 21 aims and then we so many super specialty, the, the, the intention of the bill is to increase all those. But there's no encouragement for the students. So I request you to look into, into the matters and answer me in the bill. My uh, senior, he'll speak lots about the bill. Sir, my only, uh, my only uh, request to you to withdraw this bill and come with a comprehensive bill. This bill lacks the structural integrity, it lacks the structural vision, and it lacks the institutional vision. Therefore, sir, I request you to look into it. Instead of replacing the elected body with an elected body, you are replace, replacing an elected body with a nominated body, which will be controlled by the government. Out of 25, only six doctors will be elected from the states. The rest will be from the government. And all of those are ex officio or part-time doctors. They will not have time. Even now, I, can, I, I, I would like you to enlighten this August House. From your board of governors, out of the 12 members of the board of governors before, now you increase it. How many times they have a meeting? I think not even twice in a year. And where they have a meeting? They don't have a meeting in MCI. They have a meeting in AIMS. They have a meeting in Jimmer. They don't have time for, uh, for, the, uh, for MCI. So the same thing here. So you have an ex officio from different, different departments. You bring them together. How will they have time for the organization? Therefore, sir, this issue has to be addressed. So that if you really want to improve, there must be a full and dedicated members so that whenever they inspect, whenever they go for the inspections, then the college, as of now, we have almost like exactly what you said, we have almost uh, only 60 to 70 percent of the seats because why uh, institutions have uh, 150 seats because of inspection done by the MCI and just before the, uh, before the, uh, nomination or before they need exam, they say that we'll reduce your seat from 150 to 100. So many institutions are like that. So many institutions are like that. They don't have a full capacity because of the inspections, because of corruption. I request you to address properly in the bill so that whatever institutions which are an asset of this country, we are almost 70% of our doctors, 30% we are lack of the demand for, for doctors. Therefore, sir, I request you to look into so that whatever institutions, whatever medical colleges which are there, they should be a full capacity so that the doctors will get more doctors in this country. Thank you, sir. Dr. Mahesh Sharma ji.